I'm still driver in training, so there's no guarantee on how this is gonna go. No worries. At least the what you can expect is the unexpected. Because <laughs> I have no idea if we'll stay on track, if we'll lose a bumper, if uh, we'll just get a clean run, who knows? Okay. Okay. You guys good? Yeah, I think we're gonna need a pull. Yeah. He's on his way. I am so sorry, man. No, it's all good. And not style points. <laughs> Dude, that's not that's like that's always doing that one too many run, you know, like right when I'm ready to call it and then it's Just like one boom. More. Do you want your blinker? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah, I'm fine as long as everyone else is. She's fine. Um, car's a car. I know, as long as the property's all right, too, right? The only thing Chris will have you do is probably refence it for him, but if the fence okay. is good, then you're good. Wait, I know, I feel bad. Huh? Oh, it's it's Jackal Tremotive. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. oh. Rice just went down. <laughs> oh, 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 wait. It really oh, went down. I was bad. Okay. So it went with it. Yeah, that's that, oh, that's shoot. Not, that's not ideal. That's, that's yeah, like it literally just broke point. off. That's not good. It doesn't look like there's very much internal damage. Yeah, he got lucky. Yeah. That looks like his, his wheels still look oh, all right. Yeah. Careful, though. Oh, you're good. Yeah, the roof's good. What? Are you in neutral? Are you in neutral? Yeah. Is your e brake up? Oh. <laughs> okay, there it goes. Actually, I think it helped because it pulled you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this whole, it's not even the bumper, it's this stupid thing. Yeah. I'm just scared, I don't want to damage the, damage the track. Well, that's not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> it is fiberglass. Yeah, it, it, and a light. <laughs> I don't know how to keep that up, because I'm just scared it's going to drag. I got you. Oh, no way. Oh my gosh, he is my hero. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. We might need an alignment. Just a little one. Hey, I, I, I heard it was good to tow it out for drifting, right? Oh, I feel so bad for everyone else on the track. Uh, can someone? Do you want to move that? Yeah, I got you, man. MVP right here, dude. Oh my god. I couldn't thank you enough. My boy deserves a trophy because he hung out in the trunk as I drove off the course because my rear bash bar was just hanging on the ground. Yeah, dude, for real. <laughs> Got the core piece. I will try. <laughs> All right, here she is. Rise, it starts. Rise, the storm starts coming down. So. Um, yeah, body of the car seems to uh, hold up mainly fine. 
It's uh, definitely the tie rod is completely bent down there. Um, definitely like suspension work and all that stuff. That'll have to be uh, redone. New headlight, new corner light. I don't even know where that is. Um, new bumper and then new fender. But hey, I can now, I'll probably just use this opportunity to have lo larger overs. Yeah, I gotta freaking load up. After math, well, once again, I'm really sorry that you had to be in the car for that, but she did ask for a souvenir, so this is what she'll go home with. Oh, it's even got the, it's, it's got the fake bumper stamp right there of my, my Duraflex <laughs> arrow. But yeah, you can take that home and forever remember probably. You like hang it on the wall, like a picture frame? Ah. Frame it, yes. <laughs> Put LED lights over it. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't ruin your experience on that first corner because that's going to be scarring now. <laughs> My therapist is going to be hearing about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, I'm glad you guys have a positive outlook on things. At least you go home with an artifact. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just go over the uh, instant right now while I'm still here at the track before I head up while it's kind of still all in there in the head. Um, the bads we'll start with. Um, I feel extremely awful for my passenger. She got one good lap, shredded it around, and then we went in for another. And then, you know, yeah, that happened. And, you know, I'm just really thankful that she's okay. Even with her being physically fine, I just feel really bad if I mentally scared her off from any future ride alongs and stuff like that. I also feel bad for everyone else who was on track who had to wait through that. It was probably like 30 minutes or so um, trying to work to get the car out. And, you know, it just puts everything on a pause. So I really feel bad for holding everyone off. And then, of course, I guess the last obvious thing is that. Um, the car is gonna be down for a bit. I'm gonna get it revamped and I'm gonna get it back out there. I mean, I guess that could switch us over to the good. The good, I wanna start with the people. The people here are more than amazing. They helped get us out. There's a dude that literally sat in my trunk as I drove it all the way back and he held my bash bar and bumper from dragging on the ground because I just didn't want it to scrape all the way through and damage any concrete or anything like that. He's a G. People that help load the car back up onto the trailer because it was just muddy and it didn't want to grip at all. They're all G's. And just anyone else who helped out in the situation, like, you know, I'm fully here by myself, unfortunately, on this day. And, you know, I just happen to have everyone around me that's super cool and kind, willing to lend a hand for the situation that went down. How it happened, I mean, what was going on in my head was, you know, I just went in for an initiation, trying to fade in and sway in the car. And I think I just swayed right too much and then immediately tried to take that back, regret it, just slam on the brakes. And I think the brakes just locked up, carried me straight straight forward and there was kind of, once I'm in the grass there was nothing I can do the car was just you know headed straight into that well I actually thought like I was like oh we went into the grass that sucks but I didn't realize like you know the car's just gonna keep on going and then boom you hit the wall and that was just like you could see all the fiberglass and everything up front completely like crunched it's an error completely on me as a driver and it sucks because like you know I, I was starting to really feel confident into the sport as well as even today just like the improvement level that at least like you know we were barely getting any corners throughout my first time here at park and then all the way till the end right up until that point like we were at least getting a good portion of the track linking it through so I was feeling really good but then now when something like that happens I just you know I don't feel good at all I feel I definitely feel unconfident in my skill levels with something like that going down but real people can't give up on that and I'm just glad that you know I'm really thankful that it's a situation where the car is fixable and I'm more than motivated to get it back out there I don't, I don't even care if it looks like completely mint or pretty for now I'm still I just want to fix what is functional on the car and then you know work on getting it back out there or at least having it drive really well and so far to my knowledge it's literally just the arms uh, the tie rod and little things like that which you know yeah I'm really thankful for so just gonna work on that I'm gonna just keep on improving and as long as park is still hosting events and stuff you know hopefully there will be a redemption day to come back and and fight that bend and hopefully not go over but overall that's kind of 
that is the summary and you know it, it does like as I've watched it's kind of happened to everyone at one point and even I in the back of my head like you know I knew that the car was destined just whenever you're a novice drifter in training like someone like me and stuff like that and you're working towards it like something is something's bound to happen but you know the car actually you know it's held up and I've kept it looking pretty for at least like over half a year now and eventually finally something gave in but yeah it's just a part of the game obviously it is extremely embarrassing you just got everyone at the event all crowding up and you know that everyone's knowing like oh that guy messed up you know I just don't want to like be you know a whining baby and complaining and you know being super down I'm just gonna try and at least make it as lighthearted and try and keep it as positive as I can in that moment so that's why you know I at least may seem like I don't want to come off like I didn't care cuz you know clearly it hurts I have a three-hour drive from here to think about it and it's gonna hurt it's gonna suck but you know, I use sometimes things like that. You just can't let get down too much. That is Jack Ultramotive versus Pat Sakers, and today Pat Sakers won. So I will try and have a follow-up video going in depth on, I guess, more of the damage and stuff when we ever get a chance to even look at it. But until then, this is gonna be Jack Ultramotive signing this video off. Yeah.